Something that a gentleman said to me recently was rather funny, that women choose men based on the size of their money. When that's true, I think that's marvelous for them, but I also think what happens to them is that the man will choose some kind of honey. You see, it's funny to talk about things in relationships where there's a man of money and there's a woman of honey. I often think that a man who has money should be called money by his wife and she can be called honey if she has none. But if they both came from money and that the fact that they hung out at a country club of all things, do we still have those today? It means that they have an interest in a concept of affluence or influence or just plain old golfing in some way. But what I can tell you is that the partnership that God aligns are often the ones that stand the test of time. There is that love relationship that says, I am unconditionally thine, and openly I pray to God, you're mine. But the truth is that when I made my prayers to the Lord, I got each woman in my life exactly as I prayed for. And when we do this, what we end up doing is shutting the door on other people in our life to go off in life, liberty, livelihood, life force, and of all things we have in the pursuit of American life, happiness.